Sitting atop a west side hill, Farmington High School has been nestled in the surrounding neighborhood for more than 70 years, but opened its doors more than 100 years ago, 113 to be exact. And though the buildings have been torn down, rebuilt, remodeled, and repurposed, the walls and halls continue to house amazing tradition. A place of learning, achieving, acceptance, and fun. Friends, safety, adversity, and wisdom. Donning the Kelly and White, the Farmington High School Scorpions are feared in athletics. And respected in academics. The 2019-2020 school year was set to take its place in the rich Scorpion history. On August 12, 2019, the New Mexico governor named a new education secretary. On March 13, 2020, Dr. Ryan Stewart delivered words not even he thought he would ever say. All New Mexico schools are to close for three weeks due to concern of the spread of COVID-19. Then on April 3rd, all New Mexico schools closed for the remainder of the year. Learning in the classroom turned to learning online. Athletes took time to heal and get stronger. Teachers quickly adapted, became students, then teachers again. And though we don't see our friends as much as we'd like or play that lunchtime pickup game, we can get through. We can. Now with that same pride and resiliency that runs through the veins of every scorpion, and as they have for 113 years, the members of FHS have come together to find a way. Stay with us as we come together to do all that we can to deliver a graduation ceremony fitting for the times. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the 2020 Farmington High School Graduation Ceremony.
Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our colors are the Farmington High School Junior ROTC. And now, our national anthem as recorded by 2018 winner of The Voice and Farmington High School student, Miss Chevelle Shepard. Oh, say can you see above the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fights or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Thank you, 2018 winner of The Voice and Farmington High School student, Miss Chevelle Shepard. Thank you to the Farmington High School Junior ROTC. Hello, and welcome to the graduating class of 2020. My name is Aliyah Juanico, and I'm your st former student body president. Well, this is definitely not what we expected to do this year. <laughs> right now, we all expect it to be on a stage looking out at the sunset, looking out on our friends and families saying our last goodbyes. Instead, here we are looking at each other face to face on a screen. True, it isn't what we expected, but we will come through. It is very sad and we all want our friends and families to be there to hug us, to be with us, but things happen for a reason, I believe. Throughout our school year, we had a lot to deal through, to go through really from kids eating Tide Pods to people dabbing to crazy clowns running through America and everyone's like, what are we gonna do? <laughs> but we managed to come through each obstacle, even when we were sitting at our desks or even looking at our essay, which seemed too big to handle, we still came through. And yet here we are graduating, which is an, a big accomplishment. And I just wanted to say, I'm proud of you. And on behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to welcome all of you here today, family, friends, community members, and honored guests to the Farmington High School graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. At this time, I would like to introduce our platform guests, Dr. Eugene Smith, Superintendent of Farmington Municipal Schools, Mr. Phil Valdez, Deputy Superintendent, Mr. Kyle Rhodes, Farmington School Board President, Ms. Robin Hoffman, Farmington School Board Vice President, Mr. Keith Corley, Farmington School Board Secretary, Ms. Stephanie Thompson, Farmington School Board Deputy Secretary, Ms. Joan Valley, Farmington School Board Member, Mr. Timothy Keenitz, our Farmington High School Principal. Thank you.
Class of 2020, we did it. Like most of my work in high school, this speech was written after hours of procrastination and on lots of caffeine, which has led me to this point where I can say that it is my greatest honor to be this year's salutatorian. If someone would have told me that our senior year would be cut short, I would have laughed, and then later made a really sad TikTok about it because evidently it did come true. This year, we had a lot taken from us, but I would like to focus on our accomplishments and how we can take this situation and turn it into something good. As a class of 2020, I would like to say that we have absolutely pulled off the best senior ditch day in history. For some of us, we have also survived Miss Green's class, Miss Craven's class, and even Trotter's test. We have made it through the great food fight at A lunch of 2018, and our football players have accomplished not only surviving Dalton's 5 a.m. workouts, but also his two-a-days, and finally beating, P beating PV this year. Most recently of all, we have survived being in quarantine with our families, the true Hunger Games. The time spent at home these past few months has taught me a lot of things. First and foremost, Carol Baskin absolutely did it. Secondly, any bad situation can be turned into a meme or a TikTok, and it can provide the world's best therapy. Third, toilet paper from now on will forever be an acceptable gift. Sorry, mom and dad. Fourth, even if I'm in desperate need of some fresh air, even a pandemic can't get me to go running. Finally, and most importantly, I have realized that the class of 2020 is a class of perseverance. The events that have transpired these past few months have been some of the toughest times some of us have ever gone through. The last part of our senior year that was supposed to be the most fun, filled with events like getting to play our last season of sports as a Scorpion, prom, senior award night, and graduation. With so much taken from us this year, I look back and realize that we as a class had a choice. We could look back and feel sorry for ourselves for those, for those lost moments and choose to give up. Or we could look forward to our future and be a class that holds their heads up high, be proud, and choose to make the best out of those hardest and most challenging circumstances that we are currently living through. Because it is after one's greatest disappointments that we find our greatest joys. High school is not the most important part of our lives. There will be better moments in the future for ourselves along with experiencing new disappointments and challenges. But, I, but the lessons we have learned from this time will have prepared us for these moments, and I am confident that we will persevere. This trial and the ones we have yet to face are the things that we will tell our children one day. It is this and other trials that will help us grow. To the young adults that I have been fortunate enough to get to know over these past four years, just think, we are surviving through a pandemic. Parents, while you may be sad that we are moving on to the next chapter of our lives, or happy, which is understandable, and to, the, and to the dads out there, you can finally turn that room into a man cave. The unique circumstances we are experiencing have prepared us to take on the world with courage, strength, and bravery to succeed at whatever we set our minds to. While the future is unknown, I have no doubt when I see the people that I am standing in front of in a few years, I will in fact still see Mr. Bonds, but I will also see not people who have survived through this crazy experience, but I will instead see teachers, doctors, and lawyers, in whole, people who would have changed the world. I hope all of us can choose to embrace the failures and challenges of life that are thrown at us. If there is anything I hope that parents, students, teachers, family, and friends could take away from me in this experience today, it would be to know that no matter what life throws at us, there will always be more good than bad in the world if we choose to go out and seek it. I hope all of us can choose to embrace the failures and challenges of life that are thrown at us, and instead of being ashamed of them, we can wear them as badges. Badges that got us through the hardest times of our life with the hope and a better tomorrow. Like John Lennon said, I am going to the future unknown, but I'm still all here, and still, while there's life, there's hope. I encourage all of you to go out and seek the desires of your heart, mind, and soul, no matter what challenges lie in your way. They're there for a reason. And if you come out a little scarred, know you have one. After all, they make the best stories. I would like to end my speech now by saying thank you. Thank you to my parents, family, and closest friends who have gotten me this far. Thank you to the teachers and staff at FHS who have taught me lessons that I will carry on forever. And finally, thank you to the class of 2020 who have shaped me into the person I am today. The rest of our life begins today. All of our greatest triumphs, uphill battles, celebrations, and scars but know that we will forever be the one with the quarantine.
Hey there, all you cool cats and kittens. I hope graduation has been great so far. As I record my speech, I still do not know how graduation has gone, what it's looked like, or who's even participating. So it'll make things a lot more enjoyable for all of us if you follow some simple guidance. Anytime there's an awkward pause, that means to laugh. Now that we have all the technicalities squared away, I wanna start off my speech by recognizing the senior class of 2020 as a class of survivors. Starting off with freshman year, 2016. We actually survived a lot that year, from the loss of the silverback gorilla Harambe to crazy clowns running through town at night, from our first homecoming dance to Miss Green's honors English class. We could all find something that year that we could say we survived. Next is sophomore year. This is the year that we had to survive bee lunch, or as we all know it better, fight lunch. Jared Fodor deserves a shout out for surviving his encounter with some hot glue in engineering that year. And we also survived the Tide Pod Challenge, which I can proudly say most of us did not even attempt. Junior year. Oh man, what weren't we doing to survive junior year? We had to face some of the hardest tests that we ever will by taking the ACT and AP exams. <laughs> we were the busiest we'd ever been up to that point in our lives. And so to distract ourselves, we made an egg the most liked picture on Instagram and we danced to the End My Feels Challenge. And that brings me to this year, senior year. We arguably survived the most this year. We had to push through co college and scholarship applications. We fought off senioritis. Well, at least enough to get done what we had to. We did our best to overcome our TikTok addiction. And maybe we're still working on that one. And most recently, we survived and are still surviving quarantine. We may not have had the perfect senior year, but we survived and made it here to make up the graduating class of 2020. Although I just talked about all that surviving we did, we did so much more than that. We thrived. This fall, our football team beat PV and won district. Our marching band won best woodwinds at district and Andrew Mitchell won best soloist for jazz band. Two of our wrestlers, Zach Small and Sorrel Allison, brought home district and state titles for wrestling. Alan Hilton won district in the 50 free for swim. Shia Deal made all state symphony orchestra. Many of the seniors in drama qualified for the international festival and our wind song choir, which is composed of all seniors, received a superior rating at MPA this year. Even though spring sports were, were canceled, I have no doubt that baseball, softball, and tennis all would have made us proud. And I also know that Kiara Kizada would have pushed through all the competition and brought home another state title for pole vault. So I guess you could say for a group of survivors, we did some pretty cool stuff. On the first day of school back to class this January, Miss Hackes had us do a free write. As I was sitting there trying to decide what to write about, my mind immediately went to all the change that I was about to face in the next 12 months of my life. I never could have imagined how right I was. I never imagined leaving for spring break and never returning to Farmington High School as a student. I never imagined being stuck in my home for two, four, six, who knows how many weeks. A wise philosopher once said, change is the only constant in life. As graduating seniors, this quote has never been more applicable to our lives. Graduation marks the formal end to our childhood and opens up the door to adulthood. As adults, we will face the expected changes like moving out, starting our career, getting married. It'll look different for everyone, but we will also have to face so much unexpected change. Thinking about all this change can be overwhelming, but fellow classmates, I invite all of you to embrace that change. Former President John F. Kennedy spoke about change. He said, change is the law of life and those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. Do you wanna miss the future or do you wanna embrace the change, grow within the change and be the change you wish to see in the world? I know that the Scorpion graduating class of 2020 is full of amazing people with amazing talents and amazing abilities. I have no doubt that as we grow into our adult lives, we will all do something to change the world. I would be remiss if I did not conclude my speech with some thank yous. I want to start off my thank yous by thanking the teachers, administrators, and counselors at Farmington High School who helped us learn not only to be better students, but to be better people. I want to thank all the behind the scene workers like security guards, cooks, and custodians who kept us safe, fed, and clean, clean here at FHS. I also want to thank our coaches and our mentors who pushed us to pursue, pursue our goals. I want to thank our family and our friends whose support and guidance was so imperative to our success. I also wanna thank God for blessing us all with the opportunities we had throughout the last four years 
and especially the opportunity that we had to grow and learn alongside one another. Thank you to everyone mentioned above and everyone who helped us get here this day. We truly could not have done it without all of you. Here's to the best graduation year of the century. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good afternoon. I'm Gene Schmidt, Superintendent of Farmington Municipal Schools. It is my honor to recognize the following seniors who are in the top 5% of their graduating class. These 2020 honor graduates selected teacher escorts as being a major influence in their lives. As I read the honor graduates' names and their honored teachers, they will be honored on your screen. It is my honor to introduce these honor graduates and their guests. Emery James, valedictorian, and her honored teacher, Jonathan Matisic. I chose Mr. Matisic as my honor grad teacher because he helped me realize my potential and pursue my goals throughout my entire high school experience. Taylor Flores, salutatorian, and the honored guest, Don Keenest. I chose Don Keenitz because she has always pushed me to be the best person and student I could be. She has taught me many valuable life lessons that I will cherish for the rest of my life along with her friendship. Olivia Larson and guest, Hedda Lopez. I chose Hera Lopez because he has shown me the importance of one person can make in someone's life. He has pushed me to become the best I can be. He has not only been a coach, mentor, and a teacher, he's been my friend. Irina Plaxina, an honored guest, Johnny Rowland. All throughout my high school years, Mr. Rowland has been one of the most influential teachers for me. While being in his algebra and calculus classes, he taught me that hard work pays off and that I can do anything I set my mind to. Thanks for everything you do for your students, Mr. Rowland. Kennedy Herman, an honored guest, Robert DeField. Roberta DeField went above and beyond to love all of her students, and she taught me to explore my creativity, and for that, I am so thankful. Jacqueline Papp, an honored guest, Suzanne Holman. Suzanne Holman has been a wonderful mentor to me and has taught me to be a leader through hard work, discipline, and most importantly, kindness. Alan Hilton IV, an honored guest, Stacy Van Meter. Thanks to Ms. Van Meter, I've had the best teachers and classes at FHS. She's helped me navigate every step of the way. Griffin Holman, an honored guest, Johnny Curry. I chose Johnny Curry to be my honor teacher because he's always been a role model to me, someone I can look up to. He always pushes me to be the best that I can be, and I definitely would not be where I am today without him. Kyla Holliday, an honored guest, Brooke Sandoval. Brooke has taught me so much about resilience and growing from your struggles, and I'm so proud of her as both a person and a coach. Kylie Hurd, an honored guest, Nancy Pinkley. Paige Nakai, an honored guest, Kelly Craven. Ms. Craven never hesitated to offer me help during my most stressful times and has truly had a long-lasting impact in my life. Rebecca Hagstrom, an honored guest, Shannon Gill. Hi, I'm Rebecca Hagstrom and I just wanted to give a shout out to Ms. Gill for making the last few years of high school super fun and giving me something to look forward to do at the end of the day. Madison Deal, an honored guest, Cynthia Green. My honor graduate teacher is Miss Cynthia Green. She continues to push me and support me through everything I do and accomplish. Amy Woodside, an honored guest, Tim Trotter. I chose Tim Trotter because not only was he a great coach, he taught me many valuable lessons that I will use throughout my entire life and he became someone whom I looked up to. Adeline Triplett, an honored guest, Scott Triplett. My dad is one of the most influential people in my life, one who has always supported and encouraged me to be the best that I can be, both in and out of school. Sheila Ingram, an honored guest, Royce Burbank. I'm honoring Mr. Burbank because of those encouraging words and actions. I wouldn't have had the drive to succeed as well as I did this year, so thank you to Mr. Burbank. Congratulations to the honor graduates and their escorts. Greetings Farmington High School parents, students and staff. Just thought you heard a robocall from Mr. Keenitz, didn't you? 
What a different year this has been and what a historic commencement this is. I'm honored every year in this part of the program to certify the class of 2020. But first, just like in my Sunday night calls, I always want to give a few shout outs, this time specifically for the class of 2020 that has been through so much, but has also accomplished so much. And since this class came in as freshies the fall of 2016, they've helped earn 18 district championships, two state runner-up titles, and three state championship titles, as well as a national competition 17th place with KGs. During the past four years, state titles include third place 2016 at state in bowling, 2018 state runner-up in softball, and 2017 state runner-up in girls tennis, and then girls tennis state champs in 2018. 2018 treble choir state champs and 2018 boys baseball state champions. And I have to mention here that what has happened because of coronavirus to spring sports has been such a travesty, especially with so much potential from our teams. Like having Michaela McDonald on the mound for scoring softball and Kira Casada poised to set a new state record in pole vault. She did set the state record for a uh, level state uh, last year and the all time record at the Hutch, you know, small feet. And I know that one of our baseball team seniors, Justin Yazi, was hospitalized after suffering a stroke during this year's season that was cut short. We think of him and pray for him as he overcomes this challenge and is thankfully recuperating. It's also made it much, so much more powerful to watch these seniors respond with so, so much courage and so positively, encouraging us all with their inspirational words, through things like team, uh, You Matter, uh, the You Matter team, and so many more ways that they've shown their courage. It also goes way beyond sports. Out of this year's class of 283 graduates, a third of these seniors completed one or more AP classes, two-thirds of them completed one or more dual credit classes, and three of them graduated in December. So way to go, Isaiah, Sheila, and Jose. 94% of this year's seniors have already received their acceptance letters to college and have their foot in the door to college. And not only have these seniors been accepted to college, this year's FHS class of 2020 was offered over 6.5 million in scholarships. Some of the most uh, more prestigious colleges that our class of 2020 scorps have been accepted to are Columbia, Stanford, Dartmouth, and Swarthmouth College. We have one Daniel Fund Scholars Award winner, one Davis New Mexico Scholar, three will accept presidential scholarships at the University of New Mexico, one will accept a presidential ex uh, excellence scholarship at New Mexico State, and five students qualified for Chief Manuelito scholarships. Thirteen seniors have or will complete this summer the requirements to earn their bilingual seal for the state of New Mexico, which will be effect, uh, fixed to their uh, diplomas. Evelyn Huardo has earned a bilingual seal for both Spanish and French, the first for FHS. Way to go, Evelyn. Many of you seniors have spent countless hours doing volunteer work. Six of you were selected as You Matter students for San Juan Safe Communities and led assemblies and events in schools across the county. I have to add here that this class has the distinct, uh, distinction of having the season 15 winner of the voice competition, Chevelle Shepard. She made us proud as a school and as a community. Good luck to her as she pursues her talented career. School Skills USA Awards, FCCLA, FHS Live, Science Fair, Capstone, the National French Exam, and the list goes on and on. And seniors, this is why we do this. We want to celebrate you the best way we can during this time where we're restricted to this virtual environment. And usually right here in the program, I would encourage you to take a moment to look around you in the stadium, take in the moment. You can still do that. You can still look around you with your family and relatives in your homes where you are to remember this moment. The Scorpion family is witnessing this with you right now. I would ask you to think about your teachers who work with you these past four years to prepare you for what you will face in college and in your future. Your counselors, administrators, school staff, they're all watching this with you and wishing you the best as you go forward. Remember, whatever challenges you face, Farmington High School has a rich culture and lengthy history of outstanding achievements. You are now part of that fine tradition. Farmington High School was established in 1907, over 100 years ago, and this is the 113th graduating class from Farmington High School. And not only have you shouldered the challenges of the past four years, like the past two months, you've set a new standard for the years to come. And so, this is where I say, President of the School Board, Mr. Rhodes, members of the School Board, Superintendent Dr. Schmidt, members of the worldwide audience watching this, it is my honor and privilege as the principal of Farmington High School to certify that these seniors of the class of 2020 have fulfilled all of the requirements set forth by the state of New Mexico, the public education department, and the Farmington Municipal Schools, and are therefore eligible to receive their diplomas.
You would normally now come forward and receive your diplomas that will occur later in a curbside format. And I hope that in the future, we will be able to have a full gra graduation celebration with this entire class once the restrictions have been lifted. Instead, I'd invite you now to hear this rendition of your class song by the Farmington High School senior and amazingly talented Jacqueline Pat. Nevea Alcon, Sorel Allison, Jay Alshaus, Diamond Alvarado, Isabel Alvarado, Jacob Alvarado, Logan Amormino, Danielle Anderson, Kylie Anna. Austin Antone, Angelisa Aragon, Skylar Armstrong, Elijah Arthur, Dequan Arviso, Anthony Ashihi, Eric Ashley, Desiree Atencio, Kalani Barber, Amber Begay, Carlia Begay, Jordan Begay, Leighton Begay, 
Noah be gay. Orlena be gay. Tiara be gay. Beric Bikis. Sebastian Balin. Alexia Benali. Jordan Bial. Brianna Black. Christopher Blackhorse Jr. Keanu Blackie. Lucas Blair. Kaylee Bright. Zion Brown. Jose Buena Obra. Jade Bullhorse. Keely Bullcoming. Samuel Burns. Kate Cahoon. Emily Calzadias. Zurisaray Campos Velasquez. Arlette Castillo. Alejandro Casares. Isaiah Charles. Dominus Charlie. Jennifer Chavez Zavala. Serena Chavez. Audrey Chi. Dawson Christie. Kaysen Claw. Keisha Clay. Avery Colbrook. Caitlin Comer. Kyle Kopic. Autumn Cumberworth. Michaela Daly. Cole Dale. Sierra Dale. Dallas Dandridge. Madison Deal. Shia Deal. Orion Dees. Kevin Delgado. Mackenzie Dibble. Michaela Donald. Rhiannon Dunn. Nam Edwards. Carson Evans. Seth Everett. Chloe Finch, Dylan Flegel, Taylor Flores, Christian Flynn, Jared Fodor, Destiny Francis, Kaylee Frescas, Kaya Gangnabin, Emilio Gallegos, Dante Garcia, Jeff Gardenhire, Grace Gomez, Isaac Garola, Rebecca Hagstrom, Joseph Hatali, Samantha Hamblin, Cassidy Harris, Ethan Harris, Sheridan Harvey, Ezekiel Heaps, Kylie Hurd, Michaela Henry, Vay Hensley, Andrew Henson, Kennedy Herman, Jada Herrera, Alan Hilton IV. Savannah Hobbs, Noni Hogue, Kyla Holiday, Griffin Holman, Isaiah Hunt, Sela Ingram, Alexandra Irving, Gage Ivy, Emery James. Faith Jim, 
Traven Jim, Sequoia Joe, Camden John, Janessa John, Sheila Johnson, Rianne Jones, Mackenzie Jocelyn, Alia Juanico, Joanna Juarez, Evelyn Ferrado, Ezra Kennedy, Talon King, Ronald Ledoux, Cody Lalio, Joshua Larby, Olivia Larson, Renessa Leo, Ever Lee, Rain and Lee, Sabian Lehi, Philip Lehrman, Justina Licano, Alexia Lobato, Marissa Lopez, Jacob Love, James Lee, Saskia Lukachikova, Tracy Luther, Tiana McDonald, Jason Mallet, Ryan Manning, Uriah Minigoat, Josiah Manns, Sienna Marabella, Mariah Marcy, Elias Marquez, Shrewd Martinez, Quentin Maryboy, Rochelle Matchers, Michael May, Connor Meyer, Draven McCabe, Craig McCarville, Sonny McGrady, Nerea Mercado, Chloe Mesa, Evan Miller, Amaya Mitchell, Andrew Mitchell, Michael Monclova, Avery Montano, Kaylee Montero, Alicia Montoya, Emily Montoya, Thomas Montoya, Noel Morgan, Robert Morgan, Caden Morrison, Tomasa Mosley, Wesley Moses, Karen Munoz Sinaloa, Esteban Munoz, Omar Munoz, Aspen Murray, Bianca Myers, Paige Nakai, Joshua Naljahi, Zachary Nelson, Brianna Nez, Federica Nigreri, Marty Norberto, Talia Ackerman, Andrea Ordaz, Cesar Ortiz, John Pacheco Reyes, Jacqueline Papp, Emilio Pablo, Danae Parker, Cameron Paul, Savannah Paul, Jordan Payne, Stephen Peacock, Alyssa Perez, Keyshawn Pete, Trenton Pettyjohn, Jesse Pina Dominguez, Irina Plaxina, 
Cameron Powell, Russell Pritchard, Kiara Quesada Arzate, Elijah Ramirez, Rocky Rascone, Nolan Redhouse, Luis Reyes, Jillian Richardson, Kayla Ringler, Charlene Rodellis, Karen Rogers, Alexa Romero Rodriguez, Charity Roy, Cynthia Ruiz, Desiree Sanchez, Lizzie Sanchez, Tori Sandoval, Trevor Schofield, Ivan Segovia, Chevelle Shepard, Daniel Shorty Jr., Seth Silversmith, Tyler Simpkins, Haley Smith, Hunter Smith, Lamar Smith, Tristan Smith, Colby Spellbring, Grady St. John, Jordan Staley, Kaylee Stoll, Thomas Strange, Riley Strauss, Raquel Suino, Jaden Sullins, Adriana Sylvester, Dominique Tash, Domino Tash, Elijah Tahi, Aaron Tanner, Karen Tarongo, Clarissa Tarongo, Aiden Tate, William Temples, Kaden Terrazas, Tyler Thompson, Series TC, Amy Tolbert, Brooke Toledo, Joseph Tree, Adeline Triplett, Kale Sosi, Tara Sosi, Xavier Sosi, Autumn Tyndall, Jaren Eulaberry, Nicholas Eulaberry, Angel Marie Valdez, Francis Valdez, Trinity Valdez, Vincent Valdez, Giovanni Valencia, Clara Vanderhoven, Mariana Velasquez, Macy Verbeck, Elijah Vicente, Marcus Vigil, Jose Villarreal, Edgar Viveros, Renisha Warner, Isaiah Washington, Sierra Werme, Nathan Wero, Kiara Whitehorse, Jossie Williams, Shaylee Wilson, Amy Woodside, Christina Wirtz, Brittany Yates, Brianne Yazi, Christian Yazi, Dominic Yazi, Justin Yazi, Marvin Yazi, Riley Yazi, Shiloh Yazi, Tom Yazi, Tyler Yazi, Janelle Yellowman, 
Brandon Ewell, Estrella Zegarra, Class ring symbolizes academic achievement, as well as loyalty and pride for our school. At this time, if you are wearing a class ring, please remove it and turn it so Farmington High School faces away from you, announcing to the world that you are a graduate. It is now time to move on and face new challenges that lie ahead. Since 1900, the gown and motor board have been the traditional costume for graduation. The costume implies that students are individual, individuals of learning, dignity, and maturity. The tassel, which is attached to the motor board, is an additional symbol of academic achievement. Members of the class of 2020, please stand and join us in the tassel ceremony. With your right hand, take a hold of your tassel and move it from the right side of your motor board to the left. Yesterday, we were seniors. Today, we are high school graduates. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. Seniors, I am so proud of you. You've been a pleasure to get to know. I wish you blessings as you go into your future. Now, if you will please rise wherever you are right now so we can present you to the world as graduates. It is now my privilege to present to you, ready seniors, the graduating class of Farmington High School, the class of 2020. I want to say thank you to Johnny Curry, Aaron McGinley, and others who assisted with this program for the countless hours putting this program together. And finally, we want to say thank you for all of you taking part in this virtual commencement ceremony.